Hi guys, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. This is Easy Sea Productions. I'm on my way um, to the Rattle Snake Ridge and I, I have an idea. I was planning to visit the manager and I believe there's like one um, household that returned back to live at the mobile home park at the Ridge on Thorpe Road. So I just thought, hey, well maybe you guys have some questions, right? Go ahead and write down your questions below if you have some specific questions. I do plan to catch them maybe today or tomorrow. Um, I know I have some questions for them, but go ahead and write them down below if you're interested to know more. Um, and today, let's see, I just also wanted to show you guys the beautiful day we're having today. It is amazing. We've been having freezing temperatures and now I mean, today was 73 degrees. That is amazing and that's beautiful. Um, and we had a lot of great sun. And I think this week we're gonna have um, a lot of winds. So I'll go ahead and add a clip, um, a screenshot for the weather. And uh, hang out with us guys, because we are gonna continue monitoring the ridge and posting as things come up. Here, for example, tonight, um, we're supposed to have some news clip. I think it was from KMA, uh, talking about explosives, talking about the ridge. And it might be just something that they're reviewing why we cannot explode the ridge. Um, but I'm curious to see what it's about. And uh, feel free to look it up. If it's something that we've already talked about, we're not going to probably review it or discuss it. If it's something new, I'm sure my geologist, Bill, will look into it and uh, keep us updated, right? Okay, so for everybody who's coming by and subscribing, greatly appreciate it, guys. If you are new and you like our videos, you like, you like what I'm doing, you like what we're doing, please remember to subscribe. Um, and then you can you can share my videos as well and please don't forget to press like and subscribe Thank you guys. This is Cindy with EZC Productions. Oh before I let you go. I am gonna add again that image um, Of the letter that the residents received the last during the last meeting with the Yakima Valley Emergency Management Team it, I'll post it and you guys get to see it. It's something that I forgot to include last time um, last night's video all right, so thank you guys. See you maybe tomorrow or the next day. Depends what comes out today, right? And then depends if you have questions for me. See if I can find that person that's out here. All right. I'm going to go on I-82. And uh, this is for you guys. No, I'm kidding. It's because I want to get a closer look. I'm headed over there to the um, trailer, trailer park. Here we go. Nobody's out here. Many empty empty homes. Okay, I'm out of here.
Good day, everyone. Thanks again for stopping by. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support we've gotten in this. Um, just a little bonus here. I think on the topic of seismicity, um, what you see in front of you is a um, real-time USGS um, earthquake map, basically. Um, all magnitudes, most of what you're seeing are, are small magnitude quakes. Um, but I think it's just a really neat tool to have um, if you're interested in this kind of thing, and certainly if you live in areas um, that are earthquake prone. Um, this can be set up any which way you want. Um, and if you just, if you see the address up here, um, earthquake.us.gov, if you go into there, you'll see um, an earthquake map and it will bring you to this site. And as you can see, um, there it can be updated on by the second sometimes. Um, but if you go over to settings, I mean, you can see this. I kind of like the terrain view, but you can all kinds of formats, seven days, 30 days. Uh, by magnitude, shake map, they have an, a bunch of different things here. You can even, you know, and as you can see, I have it set for uh, plate boundaries. And as you can see, a lot of these things, a lot of these quakes do occur on plate boundaries. Uh, no question about that. Um, you can even, you know, for example, put in your local time, whatever your local time is. Um, if you don't want to uh, back calculate UTC time, um, it's all there. Uh, it's a great little tool. Um, highly recommend it. Um, you know, just as a daily um, view of everything around the world. Um, and to return a bit uh, to the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, if you do go onto that site um, f following our seismic discussion about Rattlesnake Ridge, uh, pnsn.org, it will immediately take you to um, Washington State. And as you can see, it's a little more refined than the USGS site because this is what they're dealing with. Um, and as you can see, and been tracking this for a while you see in this general area Yakima being here um, it's been 20 30 miles east of Yakima it's been some activity going on for quite a while now all pretty minor stuff you're not going to feel it one o's um, two o's stuff like that in magnitude um, but I think what is even more interesting um, or equally as interesting um, if you go to the data and products you can go to the alarms and notification section in the ENS um, Earthquake Notification Service. Really neat. It's free. You can um, you can find stuff in here to get um, notifications via phone, and I would highly recommend it since our um, cell phones are pretty much our lifeline these days. Um, if you live in this type of area, I highly recommend it. If you don't. Um, you might find it um, a little bothersome because um, notifications will come in quite frequently and depending on how busy you are, you may or may not want this. But definitely anybody in these um, earthquake areas, and we have a lot of viewers around the world who may be in these areas, I highly recommend this, um, you know, because you might not um, have this, it, be in a position to wait for the 6 o'clock news to get this information so um highly recommend it again it's just uh just a, a neat little thing i mean again you don't have to necessarily live there um but if you just have a general interest for earthquakes in general this is a neat little a neat little tool and you know not to alarm anybody again most of these quakes are you know if you click on one for example um you know you're getting you know, lower magnitudes that you generally won't feel. So don't be, and frankly, you know, 203 earthquakes a day, um, that's a little on the high side, certainly, but we do have um, volcanic activity in Alaska. Um, of course, we know of the infamous San Andreas here, but um, earth movement is not, you know, always uh, indication of impending danger per se. Um, with the volcanic activity that we've been having, 
um, of late, um, Oppenheimer Ranch Project with Diamond um, expresses this on a daily basis. Um, but this, some of these quakes just stir lithospheric relaxation from those volcanoes. So, and we need that. Um, we can't be so rigid in our continental plates that they don't relax and move and and that's maybe what you're seeing here but yes certainly um like i said neat tool to have check it out see what you think um you know um it's always always good to be informed right anyway uh just wanted to pass this along we, again we thank you so much for your support we thank you for staying with us and we will see you all again real soon thank you <laughs>